<laughs> All right, I ain't been on here in a minute. It's been a while. I'm at work right now. But what I do want to say is, uh, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all this house. You see that car? I want to show y'all that house. That house. That house. I don't know if you can see it because it's dark. It's a house right there. It's dark, but you can't see it because they ain't got no light on. That house. That light right there is a house. This is a house. This is a house. Right there is a house. And right here, next to me, that light right there is a house. Okay. What I want to say is, I've been working with a woman for about five years. I sit with her and this and that. And what I've been realizing is there's been a lot of suspicious activity throughout all these houses I just showed you. And those are the houses that surrounding this one house, right? The house next door, the side, and everybody across. And it's a little loop where you can kind of turn around right over there and this and that. So it's a lot of traffic coming that way just along with the uh, the street that come. And I had to show you in the daytime to see what I'm talking about. Basically, I'm saying right here, right here is the street. Let me see. Right here is the street. And then where you see the house, like you see that light right there, it's a roundabout. I'm going to show you in the daytime so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But coming around that loop right there, it's a roundabout. And then you can see that you can come straight or you can go around that loop. And it's a lot of uh, activity. So tonight, um, around like 9.45, I get into, not really get into it, but somebody stopped right in front of the house or whatever. And they, when you're going through this shit, everything is not really suspicious but you just aware and that's how i like to put it you just aware so i'm like yo what is you you know i just like what is you doing and i'm not no scared ass person or nothing like that so they say they you know delivering groceries and they delivering groceries right to this house right here across from me well it's not my house but where i'm working right there to the house right there so as they leave in they say what they gotta say and i say what i have to say with curse words and so forth so forth and they say curse words back to me or really they initially started it with the curse words or whatever but it's neither here or there it's just more being aware and what i want to say is like people don't know like in in these times <sighs> It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Like, um, if you're on a low vibration, like, you can really be taken over by the spirit. Like, you really can. As that light just over there came on, like, it really can. And don't be surprised throughout the video if I say a cat just happened to come across it. I don't know if it will or not. Sometimes it do. So, I do want to throw that out there. And if it do at the end of the video, hey, it is what it is. Um, but it's sad in these times that, uh, people can be taken over and things can be like situations can be manipulated. Um, I recognize more and more just living this life that everything is not what it seems. It, it really is a program. Like, everything really, really is a program. Like, I look at my parents. I look at my dad. Like, I'm supposed to be in, like, the closest to my dad. Um, I don't really recognize him like that no more. I can't relate to him. Uh, as far as my mother, never have. She had so many hiccups and addictions and just trials in her life to where we were just so different. But I was the same way because I started becoming her in a sense and realizing like no this is not what it's supposed to be and and what i mean by that is like some of her habits 
it's like breaking it. Like when they say breaking generational curses, it's true. Um, I done fell out with so many friends, so many family members. I ask God to take everybody around me that's not supposed to be around me. You know what I'm saying? This and that. I'm just showing you. Well, you might see some traffic. Um, and it's pretty much just like me, myself, and I, which is fine. It really is because I'm coming to a place like when I first started this channel, I'm at peace. Um, I've been gone for a minute, got distracted, ran into somebody, a female, and had fun for a minute. Of course, that's how I started off in the beginning. And things switched up, and then you realize, like, okay, what's going on? Who are you? And I just tried something different because... I, I kind of seen something in that person, if that makes sense. But at the same time, I learned so many lessons throughout my, throughout, like, experiencing that person also. So I do want to say that. Um, another reason why I wanted to jump on here, um, about three weeks ago, probably four weeks ago, I was sitting outside on this same porch, and I seen about 12 lights in the sky, and... I'm throwing my camera up right now, but it was 12 lights going down. Like, will you see that light right there in the middle of my camera? It was 12 of them, but they were blue. And I called, I don't fuck with a lot of people, so I called my mama, called my daddy, and I called one of my aunts that I'm real close to, and I tell them, like, yo, I just seen this, like, la da 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 And... We talking about it, but it just let me know, like, we not on the same vibration. I see police cars after that had happened, like, two or three police cars, like, uh, come down the road um, out here. Like, this road right here, they come probably about five minutes later or maybe ten after I was on my phone. That's why I really don't fuck with phones. Um or whatever so they came down and i'm just like what was that you know what i mean and just talking to like those people meaning my mom my dad and my aunt they listen to me but they can't relate to me and that's a scary feeling like at the end of the day it's not scary but it's like humbling it's very humbling when you can't really talk to somebody about shit like this um it saddens me sometimes to know that like I don't have nobody really in my corner but it's okay like I tell myself all the time it's gonna be okay like you're gonna find like somebody that can relate to you even if I do or even if I don't, I don't really have, like, that bone in me to, like, give up. I just don't. It's something about me to be, like, you're going to overcome this. Like, I don't know what it is about myself or whatever. Like, I can go through the most horrendous trials. Like, I done been through some stuff. Like, I really have as far as relationships, as far as family like, as far as friends, all of it. But I always put a smile on my face, and I keep going. And not on no fake shit, it's just who I am. And I'm always willing to give a helping hand to the next man. But what I want to say is, through that, I see the illusions. I see everybody not like me. <laughs> I see that everybody is not real. I see that everybody is not human. And I see that it is people walking around this earth that is alien. I asked for discernment from God about four years ago, and he showed it to me, and I told God to take it away because nobody in my life can relate to me. I seen demons on people. I seen the energy on people. And I can still pick up on energy on people. Like, regardless, like, I don't think that will go away because I just can't be around any and everybody. 
that's just one. Like, I just can't. Um, I know I haven't been on here in a minute. And when I got in that relationship with that person, I was on my way to a certain, like, destination. And I got to, like, it's, it's, it's real what they say. Like, when you're really on your way to, like, a breakthrough, the devil will test you with a distraction. But you're not going to know it unless you're aware. And you're not going to know it, like, unless you like, able to prevail through it. And you're not going to know it unless you know, like, that that person ain't right. And the thing about the person that I fuck with, it's not that I didn't know that they weren't right because I felt it. My intuition told me. But I just tried to see the better in that person, and it messed me up. And it's just real on real. Like, anybody that that really get this message or this video from me is real on real. I don't know about this chosen shit no more. I don't know about this 144, not to 144,000, not to say it like in no bad way. I really don't. Like, I don't, I don't mean, what I'm saying is I don't mean to say like I'm not a part of that. But I know like the bread of my soul and who I am, I'm different from a lot of people that's walking this earth. That's what I will say. I can see more into you, maybe that you see into in, 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 into yourself. Um. So, with that whole situation that I kind of like got behind, it took me back two years. It really did, and I'm still working through that. But it's nothing that I can't get over. I'm just jumping back on this app. And I got a lot of stories to tell y'all from that. But it's not about that. This whole video right here is just to say like, one, I love you. Two, we is the chosen one if you coming across this video. Three, Our time is going to come. It has to. At this point, it has to. And then for like, I guess God just told me to jump on here, man, at the end of the day. Had to. And by God, I've been through so much shit that I say she. I say God is a she now, bro. God to be. God to be. God gotta be a woman. And I want to hear it in the comments or whatever. If you don't want to post or whatever. If it don't get out to the people. But I'm telling you, God gotta be a woman. And not even like a woman. I don't even want to put, like, a gender on it. Like, it can't. God is not man. God is not female or male. It's not. God is not female. You cannot say God is a female. And you cannot say God is a male. You can't. You got to you gotta reach that path to where you realize, like, no. But I will tell you this. you Once you get to the path of when you realize that it can be a female, then you're there. Because that's where I'm at. Like, it's not even, like, in discussion of a male no more. Like, not even. That's how I know it's evolution and everything, bro. And I know that even at the end of the day, it's not even a female. It's evolution. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. 